Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do cos rule application. Now you know the cos rule. It says that a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. So the angle that you are given corresponds with the side you want to calculate or the side you have on the opposite side of the equal to sign. Right now when would we use the cos rule? You would usually use the sin rule if you have a set, but you would use the cos rule if you had a side angle side or if you had side side side. Now a nice way to remember it is with the cos rule you want three letters. What does that mean? If you look here, right? This is C and this is little c, isn't it? This is A and then this is little a. And then this is angle B. So look, I have all three alphabets, A, B, C. So as long as you have all three alphabets, then you can work out with the cos rule. Okay. Now, it's a simple method of substitution. And after you substitute, then you are going either to your general solution or you're simply using your calculator. Now, let us substitute here. What is it that we want? What we're going to do is we're going to simply substitute. Now, how do we decide which formula to use? I have angle B, which means I want cos B to be at the end. Then in front, I'm going to have B squared. And afterwards, you're simply working with what is left. Now, substitute what we have. We have that A is 30. We have that C is 24. Minus 2. times 30 times 24, again it's the length that I'm talking about, cos 40. B squared is equal to 30 squared plus 24 squared minus 2, 30 times 24 cos 40. Now you press that in your calculator and we get B squared is equal to 372,9. But remember they want B, so what do we do? We square root it. So you square root the answer and we'll have 19 comma 3. But remember we are only taking the positive version because it's a length. We don't need a negative version. So what is the length of side AC? 19 comma 3. Let's do another example. Now this example what they've done is they've only given us the three sides. How do I go about calculating an angle? Let's say I want A, angle A. So I know I must end up with cos A. So it's going to be A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. Now substitute what you have. We have that A is 7. So we have 7 squared is equal to our B is 9. So we have 9 squared plus our C is 4 minus 2, 9 times 4 cos A. We haven't solved for A. Now be careful here because what happens is the, your algebra right now what I notice what children do is you take over the 81 which is correct. You say 49 minus 81. Then you say minus 16, which is also correct. But you don't go and say plus 72. The 72 is multiplying with the cos A. So you can't move it just like that. It's not an adding or subtracting. So what we have is minus 48 is equal to minus 72 cos A. At this stage, you must be careful. A lot of times we see children bring over this and make it plus 72. You're in such a rush that you are careless with your algebra. So make sure that you follow the rules of solving for x. If you are careless, you will see that the mistake will come because you're taking the 72 over. You can't take the 72 over just like that. It doesn't become plus 72. It's attached to the cause and the relationship is multiplication. So to get rid of it, you have to divide. 
So, now we have cos A is equal to minus 48 divided by minus 72, which is equal to 2 over 3. Now, I want the angle, which means I have to do shift. So, you press shift cos 2 over 3 and our answer is angle A is 48 comma 19 degrees. Why am I not doing general solution? In the general solution, the cos lies in the fourth quadrant. My restriction is only within the first and second. So, cos, we do not need to do any general solution. That is the only answer we get, 48 comma 19. Okay, let's do one more example. When we're looking at these, these drawings tend to scare you because you don't know where you must start. Now, always look at the triangle that has the most information. If you look at triangle ADC, I only have two things as information. But if you look at triangle ABC, then I have one, two, three bits of information. So, the safest place or the best place to work it is the triangle that has the most information. So, I'm going to work with ABC. Now look at what do you have. You have a side, an angle, and a side. If you look, we have a C, you have a B, and you have an A. So you have A, B, C. You have all three alphabets, which means I'm using the cos rule. Which angle am I choosing to work with? B. That is the angle that's given, which means immediately I know I'm going to cos B. So I'm going to have B squared is equal to A squared plus C squared minus 2 AC cos B. Now, it's simple substitution. We're going to substitute our A plus our C minus 2 120 into 110 cos 65. Remembering at all times that this is B squared. So, when you use your calculator, you simply substitute in what you have and we have 15,342,88. But that is B squared. I want B. So you have to square root. Now remember, your calculator keeps this answer in. So all you have to do is press the root and the A and S button. So B is equal to 123,87. We're working with millimeters. So, this is also millimeters. Now, that gave me the side here. Now, look at triangle ADC. You have one, two, three bits of information. And if you look, you have side C, you have angle A, and you have side D. So, again, A, C, A, C D, all parts of the triangle, the three letters. So, I know I'm going to use my cos rule. We have A squared is equal to, why I chose A squared? Because I got angle A, so I know I'm going to end up with cos A. What are my two remaining sides? C and D. So it will be C squared plus D squared minus 2 CD. Again, simple substitution. So, we simply substitute, then we press it into our calculator, remembering that we are solving for A squared. Now, A squared gives us 10,579,00, but I want A. So, I square root the answer and that gives me A is equal to 102,85. Again, it's millimeters because they had specified in the question what measurement I am using. Thank you for watching.